no! Look out, my queen, it's a beast! Don't worry, I will slay it for thee! Wow, I am such a good knight! Hashtag yeet! Do you remember when yeet was still hip? Yeah, me neither. Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lasses. Welcome to the click you smell astounding today. And don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Should I start like a dad channel, like a second channel? It's like, hi, I am dad click here to give parental advice. And people are like, do you actually have a kid? And I'm like, no, but I have a mustache and I wear sandals with socks. So anyway, today we're going to do something beautiful. I found a subreddit called funny and sad, which I think we can all relate to. Isn't that just life in a nutshell? <laughs> The millennial Zoomer lifestyle, funny and sad. So let's look into this together, shall we? Enjoy. Mwah. It's like relatable stuff that makes you laugh and cry at the same time, and I think that's just an amazing summary of emotions. Island boys join OnlyFans and immediately risk ban over incest <laughs> claims. Wait, what? Is this how we start off the video? The Island Boy brothers Kugliakred and Fly Solia have created an OnlyFans account together, risking ban in the process. Wait, what do you mean OnlyFans account together? I think if I made an OnlyFans, I wouldn't do it with like a sibling. <laughs> That's pretty weird. I swear to God, whenever I've seen something come out of Island Boys, it's always made me slightly sigh and just a little more disappointed in humanity. And then I click on something else. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my sibling only. No, stop. Stop. The monster. Go to sleep or the monster under your bed will eat you. I, I am more frightened of the monster in the closet. Uh, when I ruffle my fluffle. God. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, oh, God is very dead. And we killed him, and we rejoiced, because now we can indulge in the sins of the flesh. Sorry, I'm getting very carried away. I'm gonna, yes. God is dead, uh, pray Satan. My uncle died from cancer last week. He worked for Freedom Mortgage, and they denied him medical leave when the man was dying. All week, they've been calling and FedExing him letters, threatening his job because he didn't show up to work because he was dead. Ah, I see here, Mr. Uncle, that you don't have any death days saved up on your employment. I don't, I don't think you're considering how this affects the rest of the team. I swear to God, the world could literally be ending, and you could be literally dead, and they would still call you in for work. Isn't it a wonderful world? We live in next main, please. I don't think you realize how this affects the team. God, the amount of times I've heard that in like really toxic contests, but nothing compared to this. Like, how dare you die? <laughs> Adult, go to college so you can get an education and change the world. Four years later, student. Uh, science says if we don't use alternative energy and less plastic, we'll all be dead in 80 years. Adult, <laughs> wow, you think you're so smart? College sure did turn you into a lib. <laughs> Man, I love our generation. Life is good. <laughs> Man, this subreddit's so accurate. I feel like I'm laughing to hide the fact that internally I'm crying. This this is really good. I think this is... Healthy is not the right word, but it's some cathartic kind of stuff, isn't it? Ah, Frig. I miss you so much. Ah, that is so sweet. I mean, you totally cheated on me with a girl you're still dating, so you have no shot, but that was so sweet. Also, I'm totally going to send her a screenshot of this. Oh, uh, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> what are you thinking? You've already been caught cheating. You somehow salvaged the situation. And yet you come crawling back like a pathetic little amoeba. I'm so sorry, everyone watching. I'm sorry to any amoebas out there. I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> I didn't want to associate you with this... With this person. <laughs> Actually, click. My grandma was an amoeba. And I am deeply offended <laughs> about that joke. <laughs> anyway, next meme. The best part of Kevin Hart's wedding pic is him standing 10 feet in the foreground to be as tall as his wife. That is beautiful! I mean, they do it with the kids too, so the kids, like, look really big as well. And then he said, that is so beautiful! That is so beautiful! Is this on purpose, or are they trying to be sneaky? I kind of like it though, it's something for people to meme on. I think it's very, like, self-aware. It's pretty funny. Forbes. Winner of 1.28 billion lottery gets 433 million after tax. Congratulations to the IRS on winning a whopping 846 million mega million jackpot! Woo! Who's the real winner? The lottery winner? <laughs> oh, you sweet, sweet summer child. I mean, don't get me wrong, 433 million is still pretty sweet, but like, come on, he could have been a billionaire. God. Remember when we cried as kids and our parents said, I'll give you something to cry about. We thought they were going to hit us, but instead they destroyed the housing market, quadrupled college tuition, and melted the ice caps. Is global abuse a thing? <laughs> 
I mean, to be fair, I also think the generational war is a little bit overhyped, but most of it is memes, right? Like, all our parents aren't evil people, even though even though the world or the system as a whole, rather, did some questionable decisions in the last few decades. Oh, gee. University bookstore workers stole $20,000 worth of textbooks, police say. Oh, man! I hope they recovered both of the books! Ah! God, this is so relatable. I remember I bought a physics book for, like... I think it was even pretty cheap back then. It was like 10 years ago I, I was in uni, but it costed like, I don't know, a hundred bucks or something like that. And this is in Sweden, which is like, you know, very progressive and that kind of stuff. And it, it weighed like five kilos. It was this thick of a physics book. You looked really smart with it. I read it once, and I don't mean page to page. I looked up one single thing in this book one time on a test, and I got the answer wrong. So could I have passed a course even without the book? The answer is yes, but now it stands in my bookshelf, and I look really smart when I have friends over. Oh my god, it's a map of Murka. Every stat marked in red is where minimum wage earnings can afford a two-bedroom rental. Ha, <laughs> you silly person, why do you need two bedrooms? It's not like you're gonna have the money to reprocreate anyway. <laughs> you see? Life hacks. It all, it all just blends together, does. Next meme. When I was younger, I thought cops were legally allowed to commit crimes and get away with it. And then I got older and found out that wasn't true. And then I got even older and found out it was! It's like it's like a curve. It goes like a sinus curve. Imagine if this was the case with, like, Santa Claus. It's like, oh, you believe in Santa Claus? Well, I'm 12 years old now. I no longer believe in Santa Claus. And then you get, like, properly adult and you're like, oh my god, he was real after all. When you realize that you magically get gifts as, as an adult, even though no one gives you gifts. I mean, people give me gifts. It's, it's very nice. <laughs> I also give people gifts. It's good. Be each other's Santa Claus. People appreciate gifts. And sometimes it's not even about, like, the size of it. So often it's more about the thought. Like, some of the most valuable gifts I've gotten is, like, from friends that really think about something, right? I remember I got a gift from someone who I appreciated so much, an old childhood friend. And they gave me, like, fireworks and gunpowder, because we were experimenting with our own little fireworks and stuff. Probably not safe at all, but like, we were kids and we were having fun, wannabe engineers, hashtag yes. And I appreciate it so much. I mean, the present was probably worth like five dollars, but it's one of those memorable presents I have gotten, because it was so fun, and we had so much fun with it, it was beautiful, and it was something that we were actually doing together. It was so nice. It is ridiculous how $10,000 could literally change my life and a lot of people's lives, and billionaires could spend it on like a hotel room for one night or some dumb butt old bottle of wine. You know, you know the thing that I recently uh, found out? Well, not recently, a couple years ago. Like how much old Pokemon cards are worth. And I remember finding like this Charizard first edition, PSA 10 rating, etc, etc. And it's like, oh gee, here's like you know, $700,000 or something like that. And I'm like, damn, if my stupid butt kid had just put this in a plastic wrapper, and have it untouched. I could just buy a house with that. <laughs> and I told that to my friends, and they were like, no shot! And they started digging through their drawers, but of course we were stupid kids, so you know, all our cards are like, mashed up. I mean, some of them are in decent condition, but they're not collector's edition. And that was like something that made you feel like them. If you were just a little bit smarter as eight-year-olds, god damn it, god damn it. <laughs> Obese is the N-word for plus-sized people. Obese, please? <laughs> Okay, this is the kind of thing I should laugh at, I think, but it's, it's just like the shocker of reading it. It's beautiful. Also, the other thing, if, if you have someone making the comparison to the N-word, and they spell out one of the words, but not the N-word, you have your answer which one is worse, okay? It is so weird being raised by Christians and spending your entire childhood being told to care about others. Then one day they're just like, you're not actually supposed to care about others, you stupid socialist. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? It's so wild. It's so wild. I think this goes for a lot of people, honestly. The amount of people I bumped into in my days that are super virtuous on the surface, you know, they're like, oh my god, anti this and anti that and pro this and la la la. But then when push comes to shove, they're like pretty passive aggressive and they very easily dismiss people just because they are like a different skin color or they're like passively bullying people. It's really fascinating. It's a fascinating concept. I think it all digs into like social media and all that kind of stuff. It's social points for the stuff you say you believe in, but no one is actually tracking your actions. You know, it's really easy to seem virtuous by just saying good shit, but like actually doing stuff. Surprisingly few people do that. This feels like it's Twitter in a nutshell. <laughs> My dad went to a doctor's appointment with my grandma and found out she was diagnosed with dementia over a year ago. But she never told anyone because she forgot Limafau. No. Oh no, that's so sad. Can you imagine her coming home from the doctor and you're like, hey, Gramps, what did you do at the doctor? And they're like, eh, I don't know, some checkup, I think I don't remember. And you're like, okay. And then a year later, you find out I have dementia. 
Oh, God. The boys I nanny for just asked me where I work, and I didn't have the heart to tell them their parents pay me to hang out with them, so now they think I'd work at Chili's. There's a random older friend that drop by and be like, hey, miscellaneous family friend that are here when the parents aren't. That's so sweet, though. That's so sweet. A little boy just screamed down the tube carriage. If... How do you do it? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. And everyone remained silent. I love London. <laughs> That is so depressing, but that's also what I remember when I spend time on public transport when I was going to school or offices or that kind of stuff. Sometimes on certain days, it just feels like you're in this bus and everyone is heading to a funeral. That's kind of the vibe and everyone is distracting themselves with their phone. It's, uh, the atmosphere is a little bit, uh, damp. Health insurance is cool, because you get to pay a bunch of money each month for nothing. And then if something happens to you, you pay a bunch more. Woo! It's like inverse gambling, but nobody wins. Magnum opus. Hmm. It's it's just a straight line. It probably took the artist like, what, 10 seconds? Yeah. But it's a little snail, and it probably took him a long time because he is snail. You see, it's all about perspective. That is absolutely beautiful. Maybe your friend is just a snail. <laughs> Maybe he's just a slimy little crawler. Okay, all right, this turned from wholesome to I don't know what is. But I think it shows something, though. It's very easy to see, for example, the finalized product of something and not thinking that much of it. But if you see the entire effort and training and everything that goes into it, it becomes kind of an iceberg effect, right? The final product is usually just the peak of the iceberg. But then you have the years of training, previous pieces that led their skills up to the point they are today, and the inspiration that comes with it, and like the back and forth, the creative process. So I think this is true for a lot of art and other creative stuff, for sure. Got all dressed up for a nice dinner and instead spent the even the ER in Spain with my kid, who is fine now. But the point is, they gave me a list of meds and told me it would be expensive. And I asked how much, and they said between 2 and 10 euros each, and I laughed and laughed. <laughs> yeah, if you're coming from America and go to Europe, we had a similar thing happen. We were traveling through Germany, I'm not American, but we were traveling through Europe and uh, we were going through Germany. And uh, one in the family got, uh, got sick and needed like uh, penicillin and stuff. So we went to a doctor's place and they were like, oh my god, this is gonna be saw. Do you have insurance? <gasps> you don't have insurance in Germany? Oh no, it's good. Ba, 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 ba. It was 20 euros. <laughs> 20 euros. <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's a different world. The fact we're in the 20s sounds so weird. It is so synonymous with the 1920s. Sounds like a bygone era when women were still fighting for their rights. The upper classes were living a life of hedonism while people starved and the world was on the verge of financial ruin and war. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny, right? That we see the 20s as like all these bad things going on and <laughs> it, it, it's totally such a thing of the past. And <laughs> Anyway, next meme looks fun. I am an expert at having a really funny story to tell and then wording it badly enough that it's not funny anymore. Oh, or laughing so much before you finish the joke so the whole thing just staggers and no one gets it. I have done that so many times. So I'm like, okay, okay, guys, okay. You know, a turtle. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a turtle walks into a bar <laughs> and and then and then he, that is <laughs> then he said, then he said, I know it's so funny. I, I love that kind of stuff looking back at it. Oh my god. I forced a bot to watch over 1,000 hours of Trump rallies and then asked it to write a Trump rally of its own. Here is the first page. If we have found a good use for AI, this is definitely one of them. Trump rally. Intro. Big Arby's in South Y Oklahoma. <laughs> Oh, President Trump forces himself on a podium. Yeah, that sounds about right. President Trump. I just had a phone call with the economy. Jobs poured out of the phone. Great jobs. Tall jobs. Steve Jobs. All at Kinko's. The crowd cheered. It is full of real Americans. Man with hard hat. Man with harder hat. Gun that is alive. President Trump continued. The United States is doing so good. Other countries are on fire. All the people on fire. Hot fire, too. Not us. Our flag is so beautiful. President Trump salutes a flag that says, Arby's food is fun to eat. The crowd howls. They love this flag of America. Bruh, this is exactly what it looks like looking in from the outside. Oh my god, this is not even a parody. <laughs> I told him I wouldn't throw the stick because playtime is over. Throw the freaking stick, you monster! That is such a sad boy, how can you have the heart 
to not throw the stick when it gives you these eyes. I mean, as someone who's dealt with dogs many times in the past, I know that this is manipulative, right? These are manipulation eyes, but you can't resist it. That's why it's good manipulation. I mean, maybe that's bad manipulation, but it actually works. Is that good or bad manipulation? It depends. It depends on how you see it. So just to take a break in all of the sadness and stuff that is going on, let's have a couple of wholesome memes, shall we? A cute old couple got on CNN because they found a duck-shaped tomato in their garden. It actually looks like a duck. It's not even like remotely a duck. It is a duck. That is beautiful. Maybe I'll do this when I retire. I'll just go uh, grow a bunch of fruits in, in uh, duck shapes. That's, that's a pretty good retirement plan. At night, this cat climbs under my blankets, little spoons up against me, and pokes my phone until I open TikTok and show her bird videos. That is so freaking wholesome! Oh my god! Maybe world peace is achievable. Man, I love animals so much, it's so sweet. Like the fluffiness, and caring for them, and the purity of it, and like you don't speak the same language. I mean, at least I think most people don't speak cat. Maybe cats speak our language and they just think we're idiots, that wouldn't be surprising. But, but it's so sweet, and like this vibe, and you understand other creatures, and you have them in your home, and it's like this mutual understanding. It's just so sweet, man, I love animals. Anyway, let's read more miserable sh shall we? Patricia! My 18-year-old son left home with our authorization to get an apartment and now refuses to pay his daily parenting fees that he's been paying since he was 13 years old. How would I go about suing him? Whoa, 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 wait a sec, wait a second. You had your kids pay you since 13 years old for parenting. Like, like parenting is an employment. It's like, hey kid, you need to pay for me to be a reasonable adult. You know, it's not like the parent decided to have the kid and it's your responsibility as long as the kid is a minor at the very least, you know, no? That's not it at all. <laughs> I'm gonna make my kids pay me? This just feels like child labor with extra steps. The frick? And it's not even only child labor. You forced a kid to like earn money somehow to pay it to you. It's not even that the, that the kid gets paid for doing something. They, what the frick? If I have a medical emergency, don't you dare call an ambulance. Y'all better Uber my butt to the hospital because we're not about to pay 5,000 for a ride in the Wii U Wii U wagon. Um, I'm sorry. Is this some sort of American joke that I am too European to understand? Oh yeah, I remember when, when this was a discussion on Twitter a while back and someone was like, What do you think the ambulance is? A taxi to the hospital? What else would it be? The states that want to ban abortion also have these signs. Getting drunk is never an excuse. She's your daughter, not your date. What? The, excuse me? What? Who's? What? What? The, what? Refugee house. I mean, that is good. Refugee houses are a very good thing. Safe houses for for women or abuse victims or men as well, for that matter. This, this is a good thing. But what is this advertisement, man? What? Holy shit! What if your debit or credit card had a yearly wrap-up like Spotify? You bought 242 Crunchwrap Supremes in 2019. You frequent a Taco Bell at 2 a.m. You spent $753 on coffee this year. This would be really depressing. Your lazy bought Uber Eats it to your house for $5,000 this year. Did God! Ah, oh God! Ah. I mean, I feel like it's both good and bad, right? I think it's a really nasty thing to have slapped in your face. But I also think it could encourage you to make better financial decisions in a way. So I don't know. I'm on the fence, you know? <laughs> Let's keep in touch! Ouija, goodbye. Wait, is this a- what? Wait, 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 wait. Is this like a death card? Your grandma left you and they're let's keep in touch with an Ouija? Jesus, your grandma is an absolute savage. Oh my god, I would definitely use the Ouija to keep talking to her. They sound like a lot of fun. <laughs> god damn. A Titanic replica will set sail in 2022, following the same route as the original. Ah, good thing we melted all of our icebergs. <laughs> you see? Not all evil is pure evil. It's, it's good, because there are less boat crashes. <laughs> Yay, it's all about the small victories. My grandfather full of lead. My dad full of asbestos. Me full of microplastics. Aha! Uh -huh. Who wins? Or whatever. I don't know. It all sucks, man. One time my ex was really mad at me after we broke things off and he sent me this and never talked to me again. And here's just a Toy Story when he paints over the name on the... on the boots. <laughs> oh no. Is this the last meme you ever got from your ex? <sighs> Oof. Life. All right, you get 24 hours a day. Eight hours are for sleep. Oh, okay. About 12 hours go to work stuff. Um, okay. Four hours for chores and errands. Uh, okay. And the rest is yours to enjoy. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sweet. 
a solid zero hours a day to enjoy to yourself. But don't you hear that emotional support demon? We don't need sleep, nor do we need food. Oh, we can just go live in the woods with the squirrels. That would... That honestly sounds pretty good at this point. People in the US in jail for weed while the government trades a Russian war criminal to free a women's basketball player in jail for weed. <laughs> I've also seen the ones when people have spent time in jail and they come out and weed has been legalized by the time they come out. So the first thing they see is that the billboard be like, we deliver weed home to you. And like, God damn it. What? My toddler just spent five minutes explaining that he can't use his imagination because he traded it to a kid at daycare for some fruit snacks. Okay, bro. That's pretty smart, though. That's pretty smart, though. Maybe maybe when he realizes he can still use his imagination, he's gonna be like, Wow, I'm a really good scammer. And then he becomes an influencer and tries to market, like, uh, NFT scams to their audience. You know? Maybe that's where it's heading. Wow, what a uh, respectable career choice. Sports be like, watch this millionaire throw a ball to another millionaire. Ha 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 we still don't have healthcare. This sounds like an AI generated ad for like Super Bowl or something. That is amazing. America's airlines are introducing a class below economy. Broke as f now boarding. I repeat, broke as f now boarding. What would this be? You just sit on the floor or something and they just have like a pit in the back of the plane? Oh yeah, you, you just stash yourself in with the bags or whatever. <laughs> what would this look like? Because I mean, the seats are pretty darn tiny as it is. I mean, you almost sit with your knees up in your face at this point. But what would this be like? It's like, oh gee, I have this much leg space. Ooh. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good chance this season. The average hunter is getting older and millennials are just not interested anymore. You see, there is something positive about things sometimes, you see? Animals sometimes don't get shot. I don't understand why it's okay to regulate the woman's body to save the life of a fetus, but it's not okay to regulate the price of insulin to save the life of a diabetic. You see? It's because it's... It's not consistent in the least, and I don't think any one of them actually thinks about that. Lonely people take longer, hotter showers or baths to replace the warmth they're lacking socially or emotionally. Okay, wow, I wasn't expecting to be attacked like that. What do you mean? What, what is the, what do cold showers? Like, oh my God, I'm so sick of people. I'm getting so much love and social energy. I just need a cold shower. Gah, disgusting. I'm so popular. But is that like the, is that like the opposite? Is that, I take warm showers. Does that mean I'm starved for attention? Please like the video so I don't have to take hot showers. Thank you. When you are on Reddit mobile and it automatically scrolls to the top and you lost the meme you were at. I just, it's so painful! Especially when you've sorted by like top of all time, you've already scrolled down like 52,000 pages and like, oh my god, this one is good. And it's ah. So I decided to try an avocado for the first time today and this shite tastes terrible. Look at this bite. Oh, yacaroonies. I think I've invoked the Hispanic wrath because people are replying in Spanish. <laughs> This is like a cardinal sin, but for avocados. You knew what you were doing when you posted this. This makes me both happy, angry, and sad, and laugh. Global warming is a hoax! And you see, it's all the orcas and they just want the penguins for months. It's a conspiracy. It's the orca people. We have cracked it. The people who deny that anything like this could be bad. It's all orcas. In disguise. Disgusting. I knew it all along. Sai, Scott. I think you're the nicest guy I have ever dated. That's kind of sad. Oh man. Well, y'all, if it makes you feel better, the bar is really low and we are still failing. Wow. Y'all might not remember, but Winnie the Pooh kept the strap at all times. <laughs> it's kind of wild, right? They live in, what is it? The Hundred Yard Forest or whatever it is. There are like five people there. All of them are stuffed animals. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> I got pulled over and my vape was in my cup holder. And the cop was like, you know, that no saying those things are killing people. I laughed a bit and said, yeah, they say the same thing about y'all, lol. He ain't laugh. Whoops. I want to be 14 again and ruin my life differently. I have new ideas. Yeah, this is, this is the way you should do it. This is the way you should do it. I was talking about this with a good friend of mine recently. Like, imagine if you and the bros were able to go back in time to the time we were like 10 years old, but with your minds intact. Right? So it's like time travel, but only for your brain. Kind of like an X-Men, you know, the days of future past or whatever it's called. It's kind of like that. But you get to do it with a couple of friends. Because I think it would go insane if you were like 30 years old in your 10-year-old body. you will be like, oh my god, let's go to class. What's 2 plus 2? And you have to pretend to be stupid. Because otherwise they would think you're a genius. But then your genius just suddenly comes to a halt at some point when you're like 20. And you can't do like good math anymore. And it's like, 
oh, he wasn't smart after all. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that would be, that'd be pretty interesting. Imagine like how much you could mess around in life. Just like play video games because school is easy. Like everything would be amazing un until you go insane. Tonight, a mom joined the grieving parents Facebook group I belong to. Her son was killed 22 uh, pew pew incidents ago. Oh geez, it's like a generational thing now. Okay. He was killed last week. When you say 22, I think like, oh gee, she joined the morning group because she lost someone 30 years ago. Try seven days. Wow. Growing up and learning, I actually had a chance with like half the YouTubers I had a crush on at 12. Oh my god, oh my god, that's so fucking true. Jesus Christ. I've been on YouTube for a really long time, like really long time. I was like 16 or something, 15 or 16 when I made my account, I think, something like that. And the amount of people I remember from the good old days of YouTube, the good old days, that's said with, uh, you know, good is a very strong word, but that turned out to be really shady or the stuff that was going on on YouTube that no one cared about back then but but now it's like super cancelable for example that is absolutely wild YouTube was a wild west back in the day for better or worse and there was a lot of worse I mean god there's a lot of bad stuff now too like everything feels like scams nowadays Boris Johnson expected a standing contest to replace UK Prime Minister Truss this is like putting a turd back in your arse <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of Imagine the feeling of what that would be like and uh, maybe you can create some suction, you know, be like Shoop! And it's not so bad, right? Is this really something I should be talking about in the video? How to perfect the art of putting a turd back in your butt at this point in the world? Maybe we need to. I asked my mom what she wanted for Christmas this year and she said, I don't want any gifts. I just want to know my kids are happy. Well, that's a pretty big ask, Christy. Can I just get you the vacuum and call it even? <laughs> That's a bit of a steep request for Christy. God. When Jeff Bezos dies, he should go to hell where he has to work a minimum wage job until he's able to actually earn all the money he made when he was alive. Oh, yeah, minimum wage. We can probably math that out, but it would be like, you know, 200,000 years or something like that. It's absolutely amazing. Danny, client. Wanna come over and play Minecraft? Bro, I am your drug dealer. Closest thing I've ever been to a friendship. D damn, dude. I'll come. Want me to bring something? An Xbox controller. You got it, bro. And a frick load of heroin. <laughs> Just Minecraft with the bros. Honestly, I'm not really freaked out by the UFO sightings. Like, what are they going to do? Take over and make everyone work themselves to death? Not give us healthcare again? Make the planet unlivable? <laughs> Been there, done that? Yeah, you know, your threats are benign. We have done that to ourselves and worse. There is actually a book when aliens come to Earth, but they kind of guide humanity. It's called The Childhood's End by Arthur C. Clarke. It's a pretty good book. It has like different chapters and there's not one main character through it because the book spans like a hundred years or something like that when humanity civilization evolves and stuff. So every third of the book has like a different main character it follows if I remember correctly. It's pretty fascinating. I'm not gonna spoil the whole thing but it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool like to see how the countries react initially and how like they get them to respect them and like to show a force but not not like violently and there's like conspiracies around it and how it evolves and like the plot twists. It's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, aliens, uh, please come and save us. I think we need a babysitter at this point. Thank you. It turns out they raise morale in jail like they do at work. It's a pizza night! I mean, to be honest, I also think you would probably appreciate a pizza night a lot in jail, I imagine. Like, at work, it's not particularly special. It's like, I can go get a pizza for, for you know, 10 bucks next door. But in jail, damn, I, 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 think, I think that could be a pretty huge pickup, honestly. R slash Alzheimer's group. Could my granddad have Alzheimer's? Removed. I hate to break it to you, but this is a sub about posting the same Garfield comic every day and pretending like it's brand new. This is like the subreddit anime titties. <laughs> Have you seen anime titties? The subreddit? No, it's like it's about like world politics and stuff. <laughs> 20 years ago, working as a server, I lived in a corner one bedroom apartment downtown with amazing water views for $700 a month. A similar apartment now is $3,600 a month, more than five times as much. As a lawyer at age 47, I am unable to afford living in the apartment I did at age 27 while waiting tables. It's absolutely insane how rent and housing costing have gone up. I remember just looking at like houses for fun, you know, scrolling through like, ooh, what's available in which areas kind of thing, you know, because I'm, I'm supposed to be a real adult or whatever. And you see the prices and you're like, haha, this would be funny if it was a joke. Aliens invade. Earthlings, we have killed your leaders, destroyed your economy, and are here to take over your government. Oh, thank fucking God. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you see, it's a service. It's a service. 
It would, aliens would be so cool, man. R slash ask reddit, not safe for work. What is an unrealistic naughty fantasy or fetish that you have? Oh, my girl dresses up as a nurse so I can live out the ultimate male fantasy of pretending to have healthcare. My emotions have been shattered. Me studying for the degree I chose myself. <laughs> God, I feel this. I still remember that one time I sat in like a computer hall at my university trying to finish up elaboration and what, what the frick was it, numerical methods or something like that. Now maybe it was regulation mathematics, anyway, something like regulatory systems, some, something like that. And we sat there until 4 a.m. and we started doing Jaeger shots because one of our friends, it was a Friday, and one of our friends were thinking about hitting the town afterwards, so they just had booze in their bag. And we were like, yeah, we're not breaking free from this, might as well start drinking now. <laughs> And we're just sitting getting drunk, writing code. And then I think we actually made it work, but then it was really hard to analyze we have what we'd actually done the night before when we were sober looking at it again. It's like, okay, it works, but I don't know why I wrote this third of the code. <laughs> ah, memories of youth. I was in my friend's TikTok and some girl commented, Oh my god, the first three boys are so cute. Can you guess who the fourth boy is? <laughs> it's all about personality. So here's target practice. Yeah, that's right. If you shoot the hostage, they won't have any leverage anymore, and then they're easier to shoot. Excellent. Wow, I have way too much money. Damn it. What am I going to do with all this money? It's literally falling out of my pockets. Won't somebody please take some of this money? Grocery stores. So anyway, that's how I imagine our target shoppers. <laughs> It do be like that though sometimes. People can't wait to just spend their money for no good reason. This is why we are a good pick. Hey there, fellow citizens. Do you have money to burn? Burn it here. You don't even advertise the product. You just tell them you're willing to receive money for miscellaneous things. <laughs> nice. Lawrenceville Police Department. Traffic stop yields approximately seven grams of suspected marijuana. Good work, Officer Thomas. I have seen bigger busts on Paw Patrol. Content was slow that day, I suppose. Female tenant arrested for squeezing landlord's testicles to death over electricity bill. I mean, to be fair, this is usually what landlords do, but like more figuratively speaking. Landlord figuratively squeezed tenant's testicles until they died. That's an interesting title. Print that! Well, ladies, lasses, and lasses, I do hope you feel happier after watching this beautiful video. I know I am at least happier for having you with me here today. Oh, yes, indeed. And I hope to see you again in the very near future. Have an amazing rest of your day because you do deserve it and take care. Mwah.